Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today I'll show you guys the Ring Spotlight Camera, the battery powered version. I went and bought the bundle that includes the solar panel so that the battery will be continuously charged. I will be showing the unboxing, the features, setup, installation, settings, and some video footage at the end. Now, I also have the wired version of this spotlight camera, which I liked, and it is permanently monitoring my back patio. I want another camera that will monitor my backyard, but there's no power outlet nearby, so I waited for the battery version to come out and see if it stacks up to its continuously powered brother. Now, let's talk about features. So this camera is battery powered, which supposedly will last 6 to 12 months before it needs recharging. It has a 1080p HD video and has two-way communication. It has a wide angle lens with 140 degree field of view. It has a PIR sensor for motion detection and is adjustable. It has a manually activated 110 decibel alarm. It has an LED motion activated spotlights. Now, this is somewhat misleading though because this is far from being a spotlight. This has more of a diffused light which is not really bright, 700 lumens according to Ring. It is weather resistant, negative 20 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. It is a Wi-Fi camera and only connects to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So we also have the solar panel which has an adjustable mounting bracket quick and easy installation, weather resistant design, and this solar panel is different from what they sell for their stick up cam. This is specifically made for the spotlight camera. It is 7.5 by 6 inches and has a 1 and a quarter inch thickness. It provides 2 watts and 5 volts and also need a few hours of direct sunlight to keep the battery fully charged. So, let's open up the box. We have here the camera itself. It is pretty light and I'm assuming the battery is not yet inside. It is made of hard plastic. It has the camera lens in the front and the LED light bar on the edges. On the bottom is the light and the PIR motion sensor. I guess that's the mic and the reset setup button on top. Below the camera lens is the speakers. It looks exactly the same as their wired spotlight camera except that the wired one has some weight on it. On the back here is the button release to open up and put in the batteries. Inside you can put in two batteries. It only needs one battery pack and the other one can be a backup. So if one is used up, then you can pull it out to be recharged while the other one will be powering the camera. You will always have power to the camera. Ring states that the battery can last 6 to 12 months depending on use. Push the bottom part up to lock it back in place. So what else is inside the box? Oh, we got some type of stickers. We have some paperwork. And we have the setup guide or the startup manual, which is pretty thorough as usual. We have the USB charging cable, we have the drill bit, and the Phillips head Torx drive combo. We have the mounting plate, and the mounting screws with plastic anchors. Now we have some machine screws and we have the battery pack itself and here's the release tab here 
It is a 3.65 volt lithium ion rechargeable battery. This is the same battery pack that powers the Ring doorbell 2, which I also reviewed a few months ago. It is recommended to charge the battery first before installation. So, with the included USB cable, I use an iPhone charger brick to charge the battery. All lights will turn green when charging is complete. While we are waiting for the battery to fully charge, let's go ahead and open up the solar panel box. We have here the solar panel, which comes with a cable to hook up with a camera. The cable is around 13 feet in length. It is pretty long and gives you flexibility in where you can mount it. We have the installation instructions which is pretty self-explanatory. Then we have the combo driver again and the drill bit. I'm telling you guys, I'm pretty sure I have at least 5 of these. Installation screws and anchors, machine screws which I think is needed to secure the power cord to the back of the camera. Then we have the mounting bracket which hooks up to the back of the solar panel. You just need to slide the panel into the bracket where you can tilt the panel up or down. The battery spotlight camera has two options in mounting. You can install this in a vertical wall or you can install it in a ceiling or soffit. The wired spotlight camera on the other hand can only be installed in a vertical wall. You can remove and switch the position of the ball socket. And in my case, if I want to install it in a wall, I can lower the ball socket. First, I have to open the battery compartment. Then take off the rubber plug for the solar panel connector. Now I have to push down on this round tab so that I can slide the ball socket plate off. I have to use the back of the drill bit to help me push the tab down while I try to slide off just like so. Then you can turn it around and slide it back in. And the tab will lock it in place. Now the ball socket is pointing down and it is the ideal position for the wall installation. The ball socket makes it flexible in properly positioning the camera, side to side, or up or down. We will now insert the battery on either side of the compartment. The camera will automatically detect the battery. Push it in until it locks in place. Then push back in the bottom cover until the round tab pops back out. The blue LED lights up and the camera is ready for setup. Go to your Ring app, download it if you haven't done it yet, and sign up. I already have several cameras, so for me, I'll swipe to the left so I can see the plus setup device sign. Now I'll choose Ring Spotlight Cam Battery. Name the camera. I already use Backyard, so I'll do a custom name. Backyard 2. And click Continue. Now confirm your address. Click Continue. Then press the button on the top of the camera. The bottom light will start flashing. Then you can click continue. Now leave the app and go to your phone's Wi-Fi settings. Click on the camera's Wi-Fi which is the network that has a ring setup name on it. Then go back to the app and you will choose which Wi-Fi network you will connect the camera to. Then type in your Wi-Fi password and click continue. Success. Now continue. 
I'll skip the family sharing for now. Then skip the install. Now it will make, it will make you set up the motion zones, which I'll put it halfway for now. Then click continue. Now let's try out the live view, which initially we have to set it up. There is normal, faster, and fastest connection. The fastest connection will also drain your battery faster. Click save and click it again. That works pretty good. Now let's check out the camera's interface. We have the gear icon on top right where you can change the camera's name or if you want to delete the device. Then we have the event history and this is where you can view the recorded footage that was uploaded to the cloud. Then we have device health which shows the battery or batteries level. We have the signal strength and the Wi-Fi network it is connected to. Now we have the link chimes, which I have the ring chime. I'm not turning it on yet until I'm done with the install. Then we have the motion settings, which we already set up earlier. The motion zones where you can adjust the distance of the motion sensor. And the motion scheduling, which I usually don't use. You can schedule to motion sensing to turn on or off on certain times and on certain days. Then we have the smart alerts, which is basically the re-trigger time of the motion sensor and how fast it will detect motion again. I'll keep mine to standard. The motion settings interface is different from the wired spotlight camera. Then we have the live view settings, which we also have already set up. Now, time to install the camera. I'm going to install it in the soffit in between the two real link cameras that I have. I just have to screw in the mounting bracket with four screws. Then we just need to push the camera into the socket and tighten the sleeve with a Phillips screwdriver to lock the camera's position. There you have it, the ring spotlight camera, battery powered installed and as you can see no wires now let's check out some footage daytime suns out and this is when pushing the live view button on the app notice the one to two seconds startup from the camera second one is motion activated when I was going from left to right. As I have tested with PIR sensors before, when I was comparing the Blink camera with the real Link Argus, PIR sensors work best if the subject is moving across the sensor, then going towards the sensor, as you will see in this next footage. I'm about 10 feet from the camera when it started recording. Now this one is testing the audio. This is an audio test of a battery powered ring spotlight camera. Sound is pretty good, but as you can see it doesn't sync up with the video. The video has at least a half a second delay. Now this footage is at night, live view, so the infrared is on. Then with the LED lights, are activated which should happen 99% of the time at night time when it detects motion. This is when it detects motion and the lights turned on and I'm going across left to right. It detects pretty good, not as good as the wired version though and the night video quality could be better especially when the lights are on.
Now we'll check out the lights. Turning it on. And turning it off. Pushing the button again doesn't turn it off. Hmm. Okay. Now let's test the siren. It works pretty good. Now as to the lights. There you go, it turned off. Then we'll turn it on again. It seems like the button turns or orange to say it is on but turns back to white. Then you cannot turn it off. Might be a software bug. Also the app interface on this camera doesn't have the light settings like the wired spotlight cam. The lights does turn on though when it senses motion at night. It does turn off when the motion stops. But the settings cannot be changed on how long the lights turn on, I guess to save battery. Installing the solar panel is straightforward. Install the mounting bracket first. And make sure that you have the orientation right because the panel only goes one way and it needs to slide in from the top. Now we have to remove the rubber seal on the socket on the back of the camera. Then we can push in the adapter jack. To secure it and make it weatherproof, we have to screw in the machine screws. Then we have to reinstall the camera to its mounting bracket. Now we have this 13 foot cable that we need to roll up and try to hide and secure to the wall. Uh, it makes it look sloppy and kind of defeats the wireless feature of the camera. Eventually I removed the solar panel and went to ring.com and ordered me another battery pack which is only 20 bucks. This is going to be the backup battery and I don't mind taking off the battery to be recharged once every 6 months. And with a second battery, there will be no downtime. Overall, the Ring Spotlight Camera battery is a pretty good true wireless camera. It is more on the expensive side, but it has other features like the siren, two-way communication, and the motion-activated LED lights. I'll be doing a comparison video between this and the wired version, but I can already tell that the wired version will win hands down on the motion detecting recording. I also noticed more choppiness on the footage with this camera. The video quality between the two are the same. If you want a clean install, don't go with the solar panel and just buy an extra battery pack. Well that's it guys for this video and hopefully you learned a thing or two. Give us a like and subscribe to my channel to get more video review like this. I'll put the links in the description below on the other related products that I mentioned in this video. Also, any questions, just comment below. Thank you.